Kharkiv has seen some of the heaviest fighting since the war began. Ukrainian regional police say 170 civilians had been killed across Kharkiv, including five children, and the children left injured are struggling between life and death. This is the story of an eight-year-old boy in Kharkiv who's currently being cared for at a paediatric neurosurgery centre. Dima Kasyanov is an eight-year-old boy from the embattled city of Kharkiv in Ukraine. He's unconscious and in a pediatric neurosurgery center. His father, Sergei Kasyanov, showed Reuters his son's x-ray. This is shrapnel. It entered via jaw and lodged itself at the base of the skull. The child's mother silently wept. We were all at home. The shell hit the apartment and exploded inside, setting two parts of the building on fire. We grabbed a few things, documents, and just like we were, in pajamas, we escaped. My mother suffered as well. She is in intensive care. She has broken ribs and damage to her spine. The doctors treated it. But the child, he suffered the worst injury. Kharkiv has seen some of the heaviest fighting since Russian troops invaded Ukraine on February 24th. The Ukrainian regional police official said on Tuesday that 170 civilians had been killed across the Kharkiv region since the war began, including five children. Russia denies targeting civilians and said its forces are engaged in a, quote, special military operation. None of that makes sense to Dima's father. All there is in our part of town are some private businesses and two hospitals nearby. No military warehouses, military establishments, units, nothing. Just some orchards, summer houses. This hospital treats the youngest and most defenseless victims of the fighting. A doctor leans over to ask a child, who he calls Little Vova, how he's doing. I'm fine, he replies faintly. Medics said he was hit in the head by a bullet during fighting in the first few days of Russia's attack on Ukraine, one of several children brought into the hospital to be treated for shrapnel and bullet wounds. Oleksandr Dikhnovsky, the doctor who heads the center, said the unit had operated on four children with war wounds so far. Sadly, one little girl died yesterday. She was admitted on the first night of the aggression and invasion of our country. In the surgery theater, a Reuters reporter heard the rumble of a distant explosion. One of the nurses explained that was just part of the job now.